Hello again. In this video, we're going to talk about Huygens' principle. Uh, Christian Huygens was a uh, Dutch uh, physicist. Uh, um, he's, he's dead. Uh, but uh, he came up with this principle about uh, how light propagates. Uh, and what he said was essentially that uh, a light wave front can be considered a essentially a line of individual tiny little uh, sources of, of light or perhaps sound. So, for example, if a, a wave comes and it, it hits a particle here, uh, this particle is going to emit its own spherical uh, wave of its own. Um, so, okay, so what, what does that mean? Um, what we're going to see is we're going to animate it in this uh, applet down here. Uh, and I think that's can, we'll use that to explain some. So here's the, the applet. Uh, and we're going to see a wave front here uh, coming down and approaching this this, very, this boundary here. And part of it's going to re reflect and part's going to refract. So the angle of incidence here is 45 degrees. First uh, index is 1, which is air. Second is uh, 2. I don't know what that is. Maybe a diamond or something like that. So here, here's a wave front. So that's the, just the first step. The next step we're going to see. So let me pause this a moment. So here uh, on the boundary we have uh, spaced out, uh, for so we can see it a little bit more easily, individual particles. Uh, and when the, the wave strikes them, each one of them is going to emit it, its own uh, circular or spherical wave. Uh, I mean, in this case, we have to, it has to be circular. We can't represent three dimensions on the computer screen, so it will look just two dimensions. So here comes our wave front. You can see when it strikes the particle, the particle emits a circular wave. Part of it goes up into medium one, part of it down into medium two. Now, medium two is uh, a material of higher index, so it travels more slowly here, and it's, it's also at a different angle. Let's go to the next step. So here, and I think in this next step, it's going to connect the wave fronts and show a line. Yeah. So the same thing, except now our spherical wave fronts are going to be connected by a line. So you can imagine if you have these particles, if they're, if you, we put one every, uh, one, another particle in between every one of these, or, and then another one in between those two, and you have a very dense line of particles, you can see that essentially you're going to get this wave front that's effectively a line. Let's go to the next step. So here we have a just a array showing the direction of the wave fronts. And this is now beginning to look like you know, some of those standard reflection and refraction efforts that we've already seen. So here's the refracted wave front traveling perpendicular to this ray, and there goes the reflected up there. We go to the next step, and this is now going to be a series or uh, traveling wave approaching it, and this is going to get, it's going to look confusing uh, fairly quickly. It's going to look like a big rat's nest, but until that time you can see what's going on. Like right now you can still make sense of it. Uh, as you can see, it's starting to look a little confusing there, but you can see you have these multiple wave fronts. The wavelength is shorter than here in medium one. It's shorter in medium two. Okay, so there, there's that. Pause that. You feel free to go and look at that one yourself. And that's Huygens' principle. You, there's more information. You can always, of course, um, you know, Wikipedia Huygens. Okay, see you next time.